but I neither made a wrong decision when we thought we should go to Canada. It's a better place for our kids. But I think today I see that Canada didn't let injustice to happen. So I thank Canada. Thank you very much. I never meant any of this to happen. I am sorry for what had happened, but I never meant any of this to happen to this day. I can't thank enough to Mr. Nadir, Mr. Alex. I can just say this, these are not just the lawyers, these are angels for me. Today is not, it's not a day for celebration, but it is a day for relief because the system worked as it should. The jury declared that Mr. Zamir was not guilty and he is not guilty. He's not a criminal, he didn't commit a criminal act. The system today worked as it should. It's not a day for celebration because we want to remain ever mindful of the fact that poor officer Northrop did lose his life. And the Zamir family, the defense team, all of us, we remain ever mindful and saddened by that. Uh, so it's not a day for celebration, but it is a day for immense relief because it wouldn't have done any good at all to brand Mr. Zamir a criminal. He is not a criminal. This was an unfortunate, terrible situation that happened. And as a result, an unfortunate, tragic death ensued. He has to go home and hug his kids. He's got three kids. The latter two were born while this was hanging over his head. He missed the birth of his second child, his, his first daughter, uh, while he was in custody on these charges before we were able to get him a bail hearing. People you ask me if your client could sue anyone for what he's been through. Is that something that, is that a possibility? I'm not a lawyer. We, we haven't even begun to talk about what's next from a legal perspective. We are so focused on getting to this day. What about uh, identifying yourself as police? I mean, I think it's an ongoing issue of you ask the SIU with plainclothes officers that often when there are interactions with, with plainclothes officers, the public doesn't know. Yeah. I think that's a very fair point. Um, what plainclothes officers ought to be doing, how they should be identifying themselves. Look, I do think that this, this case will mark a teachable moment uh, for, for many uh, police agencies, for many Canadians, about how we want police to act, how they should act. This has been a very difficult time for the Toronto Police family. The loss of Detective Constable Jeffrey Northrup has been devastating to his family, his partner, members of 52 Division, and the entire policing community. Jeff loves coming to work and is fondly remembered as an outstanding police officer and member of the community. While we respect the judicial process and appreciate the work of everyone involved in this very difficult case, I share the feelings of our members. We are hoping for a different outcome. I wouldn't have gotten through this process without the unwavering support from Chief Thank you. All of the Toronto Police Service, John Reed and the Toronto Police Association. I am very disappointed in today's outcome. From day one, all I've wanted is accountability. We miss Jeff every day. However, we continue on with him in our hearts, never to be forgotten. A hero in life, not death. Two years, nine months ago, she lost a hero. Margaret lost a partner. Brennan, Mitchell, and Sammy lost a father. For 31 years, Jeff selflessly served the city, putting himself in harm's way. He was a mentor to younger officers, a caretaker to his colleagues, keeping them fed, enthusiastically entertained. Everyone remembers him for his smile, his personality, and his big stature. Today's decision will stir up many feelings. An officer being killed in line of duty reverberates across the entire membership across Canada and all the communities within Canada. We will be disappointed, angry, frustrated, 
We cannot lose sight, but we lost a hero. A hero, a husband, a father, and a friend.